Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizons Season 2. Uh, last episode, we just kind of went over all the different changes with the mock pack. I got most of them. Uh, one of the things that was pointed out to me that I didn't realize, because it is kind of hidden, um, the single block machines actually have a way to implement the circuit that you need right there so there we go there is a one circuit for the electrolyzer now i haven't actually done this yet i was looking up the salt water uh recipe in there so salt water usually needs a programmed circuit of one and a empty cell um, i haven't tried this yet so i don't know if this is going to work but we'll try that put that in there and yeah unsurprisingly it does indeed work. Now I think you can left click, right click to put that up, but if you shift left click that icon, it pulls up that little menu. And then you can do, these are the Greg Tech plus plus ones, I think. And there's also ones down there. Uh, kind of wish these showed up first. I think it maybe goes by alphabetical order. I could be wrong though. Yeah, I think it goes by. No, I don't know what that does. Anyway, <laughs> so there that is. Uh, you don't need to have a actual circuit in there and you can just change it pretty easily. So yeah, cool. Uh, this is definitely not set up for what I'm trying to do uh, because it's putting the stuff in there, putting it back in there. And this is set up for bauxite. And uh, so we'll just let that. I just wanted to get that. Uh, I wanted to get that taken care of uh, and emptied those things out. So we'll just leave that for there. But uh, I think today um, we're going to need to improve our power generation. Um, and I think I'm going to work on that just a little bit. We are working towards the nano circuits, as we know. That's kind of my main goal at the moment. But uh, we might take a little detour into uh getting some lapatron uh, batteries or whatever so we can start filling up ev battery buffers uh we'll probably just do a like a floor slot one i think but uh let's see the yeah we'll do that one i think Easy enough. The EV machine hull is easy enough to do. And add some aluminum. Although aluminum is a little bit more complicated to smelt nowadays. <laughs> that makes me a little bit sad. Um, I'm going to have to look into that when we start smelting it up. I think we need that. Al I need to add the that cryolite stuff, right? We can't just directly smelt this anymore. Oh, we can. Oh, that's right. It's just early game that's been... That's right. We can do this. Uh, it's just the early game that has been nerfed. And I haven't... I'm not sure... I don't remember what the time was, but I think that time has definitely been... Uh, is there like, there might be, hold on, is there, shouldn't that, what's my 28, yeah, 28, isn't this, I'm not crazy, right, this is HV. Yeah, there's like, <laughs> like, this is HV. Yeah. I'm like, maybe I just need to turn it on. Oh, wait. Wasn't... Didn't that used to have a... Didn't that used to have, like, the thing where you just click on it? Hold on. Hmm. 
Yeah, that used to have that little, like, on-off button. Hmm. That disappeared. Well, that's a little bit of a... That's a pain. Yeah. Alright, maybe that... I don't know if that is an intentionally... Removed intentionally? I don't know. Um, I'll put that back in there with the 11. It might use our oxygen. Alright, well that's... Yeah, that's a bit... I would have, yeah, and I'm pretty sure that had that tech tech. It was like that tech tech or whatever it was from. I don't know. Anyway, well, that makes me a bit sad. But, uh, I feel like, yeah, that has been nerfed, definitely. Wasn't it? It was MV. It, the, the other one with the cryo, whatever. Cryo light. Yeah, that's MV and that's 40 seconds. So, definitely been nerfed but oh well this is like pure aluminum we're just gonna it doesn't matter i mean we can run this no problem i'll just let it run for a while but uh all right so what do we want to do uh like i said i think i want to get the lapatron stuff we ended up we needed the ev assembler anyway um so i crafted that up we might as well use it to get some lapatron dust lapatron crystals uh because Apparently, we've never crafted aluminum before. Also, kind of cool that we got the achievement, even though I didn't put it in my inventory. Usually, you have to, like, hold it to put it to get credit for it, but... Maybe that I'm thinking of the quest as opposed to the achievement, but that was kind of cool. Uh, yeah, so... Also, that used to be white. That has changed. So, there is quite a few things that... Uh, couple things that we did not see in the patch notes that have changed, but anyway, uh, let me get to going on this Lapatron dust. I think we need 30 to get that. Yes. Also, Vibrant Alloy, is this, hold on, nope, there's the ingot. Yes, we can't do Vibrant Alloy yet. All right, we're going to have to... That's right. We have to get that taken care of. We have to get that upgraded to Nichrome. I had forgotten about that. Right. Also, Vibrant Alloy should be able to be crafted up much easier now in a mixer. There is the old recipe. And there is the new recipe. Well, that is a lot of Vibrant Alloy dust. I'm like, I don't know if I want that much. <laughs> uh, I mean, I kind of only want about, what, eight ingots worth? So three of these. The annoying bit is doing all this stuff. Although we need to get the black steel dust anyway. All right, uh, let me, yeah, let me do a little bit of plan in here and we'll be right back. And... Really quick, I was noticing that I seem to be like draining a lot of steam, and I came over here and realized uh, this wasn't actually running, and that is because somehow in the update, <laughs> this random item fluid thing uh, ended up in there. Not sure how that happened, but uh, yeah, there might be some random issues with that. There was one in my autoclave too. So, probably because this is a super tank. Isn't the super tank the one that gives you a whole bunch of debuffs? Maybe it's something uh, with that. So, just keep an eye on that. So if you upgrade. I'm not noticing one in there. No. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Maybe with, like, a, a conveyor or something like that in that. But, anyway, just wanted to point that out. All right, I am just grabbing some of this. Um, I need to probably bring this over or at least set this up. Uh, I've just been putting it off. I <laughs> didn't want to, to do that. Yeah, that's not gonna work obviously because we have like 
We do have power. Oh, I broke down all the uh, <laughs> the lines. Uh, why don't I do this? But I'll just let that finish. Uh, that process, and then I'll probably break that down and move it over. Yeah, because we need nitrogen. I need nitrogen to get the thing. Also, I need to deal with this stuff. Um, I know you can, like, break these now, but that's still, like... <laughs> it still makes me nervous breaking the... Uh, those super tanks, because I'm worried I'm going to, like, lose everything in it. Also, every time I spawn in before the building spawns in, it freaks me out. Um, I am just about to start smelting up all this nichrome, which that's going to take a while. I'll just put that in there. I know you can do that, but it's easier if I just do that in there. And then I will do this. Is this? All right. Input hatches does not have that feature, unfortunately. All right, but as we can see, 200 second smelting time. Oh, Greg Tech New Horizons. <laughs> That's going to take me like six hours to smelt the two stacks of nichrome that we need for all this. So that's just going to have to be a little side project. Also, Ruby Dust. There is two types, one with chrome. So this has chrome, aluminum, oxygen. This one has magnesium, aluminum, oxygen. Just get rid of this magnesium, aluminum, oxygen. It just is annoying. It gets confusing. And I don't need the magnesium when I can just get magnesite or and smelt it all down. Um, I don't need the oxygen. I don't really need the aluminum. We have much easier ways to get it. So, yeah, just get rid of it. And then hopefully never ever to deal with it ever again. I think I got it. Through the miner, I'm not 100% sure, um, but I need to make sure that uh, before I start processing it all, that we uh, it's not the wrong. Or I have been slowly starting to go through all this stuff. Like for example, I cleared that one out, uh, but it's taking me some time to go through all that. Or most of this is just all just junk. All these gems and stuff, they just all junk except for tanzanite isn't there like some use for tanzanite yeah there's just like some random there there's a use for it <laughs> tanzanite uh but i think like olivine and all that stuff that's a really cool thing too actually now that i'm looking at that that's uh this lens thing is really cool. So if we do like Ruby lens, we can see all the different things that Ruby lens does. That is really cool. Uh, most of this is kind of pointless. It's like, okay, so we get three rubies equal one flawless. It doesn't say three, but that's what the actual recipe is. Um, but yeah, that is really cool. It just helps decipher the craziness that is greg tech new horizons all right so yeah i guess we'll just let that smelt up and uh i'm gonna start working on maybe a another project uh because that is gonna take me a very long time just real time <laughs> to smelt that up and i can't really speed it up because nichrome Uh, that is like a late game thing and still 90 seconds is still a long time. If you need 128, I mean, that is, you're talking like three hours to smelt at that. So we're going to have to do, we're doing the nitrogen. Um, it requires less EU and, uh, yeah, it's just going to run at the MHV. Now we have... Oh, also, we're going to be stacking to 64. That is awesome. Um, I may... Hmm. 
we're definitely we're definitely pushing our power grid to the max here i know that um because we only have the hv1 down there and the steam over there and we're already going through all the steam that we are producing i can tell so i may need to smelt a bit and then just let it fill back up um but we're gonna fix that we're getting there uh, this is one of the reasons i am pushing for this all right as we see uh i'm actually very very slowly gaining power actually with the blast funnus uh running I was like, oh, I couldn't see the, the thing for a second. I thought it was turned off. I was like, no. Um, yeah, so we're very, very slowly uh, getting thing. The problem is when we start doing all the other stuff, like running ore washers and all sorts of stuff, is when we run into problems uh, with our power. So we're actually doing okay. But uh, I would like to... Uh, improve our power and I am a big fan of doing multiple types of power so like I said that's a hundred percent passive I don't have to worry about that at all we're literally just growing it gets turned into charcoal and then turns into power so why not it's just totally free power um, but I would like to expand it and like I said I think we are just other than <laughs> for no other reason than just because it's silly um, make our uh, tank as big as possible and store as much steam as possible just because just because um, but I think I'm going to I'm going to expand these I think um, yeah because we're burning this constantly but we're actually gaining um, charcoal still so I think I'm going to expand this finally to the 3 by 3 um, so I'm gonna do that, not soil. I need solid. Uh, the solid one's easier to craft up. The, the liquid one is a, the annoying one. But, for some reason I thought there was a pump in it. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm crazy. Oh, there we go. I am crazy today. <laughs> I don't know what I was... I thought for some reason I thought there was like a pump in it. But maybe there isn't. Um, I don't think we are producing enough... Um, I don't think we're producing enough for, to expand that. But I definitely think we can do the solid fueled one. Uh, so I'm going to craft that up. I need one, two, three, four. I only need five, so that's it's not that bad. Um, just bronze, bronze and iron, basically. And then we'll do I guess we'll do three tall. Yeah, four is the tallest. I don't think we are there yet. I don't want to do it too big because then we will burn through all this and then we'll have issues but uh yeah i figure we might as well just expand while we are waiting for that to just melt up okay i have to say the change here with the circuits is pretty amazing not gonna lie so i can just do that and switch it immediately to something else that uh that is just such a huge quality of life upgrade uh, but I think uh, there kind of wish that I know like it's because it's it, it can't tell what's in the A system, but kind of annoying. No, I was worried about that. <laughs> I didn't think I had enough. I forgot to look, though. No. All right. Um, I think I'm actually going to turn that. It's two by three. I think I'm actually going to turn it into a three by two. Uh, so there's going to be, I think, six more boilers. 
Um, so it just means we're going to be burning that much more. Uh, but I want to check it out before I add a whole nother layer of nine. And also, I need to do a backup before I start messing with that because those Railcraft boilers can explode. All right. Um, so I think we'll just do... Yeah, I'll just go ahead and... We'll have to move this over one. Um, I'm always worried this is going to, like... I'm going to do something and it's going to, like, blow up. Uh, so I think, yeah, I can just do this. I'm just going to break them all. Uh, just so I don't have to worry about it blowing up. But yeah, I'm just going to take this top layer off and add add to it. So I th think... I could do this evenly. Yeah, I think that'll work for now. I think that's, this is a valid shape, right? Yeah. I can even just dump that in there. All right. So that will get that going. I uh, just need to make sure we have, we're not burning through the water, which we should be good, but it's still kind of one of these, which isn't the fastest. Eventually I will replace it with those. Uh, I don't remember the name of them. These water reservoir, uh, but yeah, that's just way too expensive at this point. But, uh, all right, so that's that. That should start. It's going to take a while to get up to temperature for sure. Um, but that will just improve our power just a little bit. But, uh, yeah, basically just kind of waiting for this to smelt up, unfortunately. That is my one big complaint with Crytek New Horizons, that there's a lot of time gates in that. Like, there is no reason for that to be 200 seconds. But that is just my opinion. Um, I, I mean, I could, if I really wanted to, I could, you know, build out way more power and then overclock this to EV power, but I don't know. It just feels, yeah, it's what it is. <laughs> so anyway, we'll be back. All right. As I was waiting for the Nichrome, we have 41 now. So you can just, <laughs> you can see how long my world's been running. Uh, I was looking through the quest book and I was just cleaning out some quests like this energy crystal. I'm like, yeah, that's exciting. I already have both of those. There's no point. I don't really understand why the quests give these lenses when like you need a ruby lens to craft that kind of stuff up. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I was looking at this one and <laughs> I noticed... There is a Vibrant Alloy Ingot reward. So, <laughs> I'm going to take that, because it's the harder one to craft up. Also, we'll just take that. There's no choice there. Throw that all in there. Um, yeah, the whole reason I was upgrading my coils, which I need, I mean, I need to anyway. So, I'm not mad about that. But, uh, yeah, we <laughs> there's our Vibrant Alloy Ingots that we need uh, to do what I wanted to do. Um, so I may just go ahead and use those to get the Lapatron that we need, I think. Um, yep, so there's the two and an autoclave HV. We do have that. Can I melt that down? Yep, I can. I have that as well. Uh, but we do need 30 of this, which is six. So 18 angerium dust, which is eight ruby dust, which I mean, now we have tons of ruby. Um, I thought I was going to need more chrome, which we will need more chrome, but um, I did. Oh, we are low on. We are low on redstone. Let me 
It's in here somewhere. Yep. Like this is 640 redstone or something like that. I might even have more redstone that needs to be processed down somewhere. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe I ended up processing all that, but yeah, I do need to do that. Uh, that's probably even like too much. Actually, no, that'll be fine. We'll just get that going. Uh, mace rating doesn't really take much power. Uh, all right, so that will do that in a mixer. Let me just double check with the Lapatron dust. Ah, that needs an HV one. I have not crafted up an HV mixer, I don't think. Can't remember, does that require a pump? If it doesn't require a pump, it's usually not that bad. All right, just a motor, that's actually pretty easy. Um, all right, so I'm going to work on that, and I think uh also been trying to kind of decide what I want to do about power. There's even a power tab, and I definitely want to do some of these. Unfortunately, the semi-fluid generators don't work. Um, I don't know if I've ever actually used those, to be honest. But uh, yeah, unfortunately those don't work, but we will be eventually upgrading to a combustion engine. Uh, this just is way too much titanium at this point, but I was thinking maybe we should, maybe we should upgrade our, it takes a lot of steel, but uh, might as well be worth it to upgrade our steam turbine, producing steam. We might as well upgrade that. Also, so that is one of the next things I'm going to be crafting up. Uh, this is on the to-do list, but it's going to be take a while. And the other thing I want to do is maybe get a nuclear reactor. And I think this takes titanium. Yes, a lot of titanium. That is 36 titanium right there. Wait, was that titanium or lead? Oh, no. 18 titanium, 18 lead. Nope. I need more. <laughs> lots and lots of... Lots and lots of... Titanium, unfortunately, for that. So, that's what? 8, 72 titanium, just for one nuclear reactor. Uh, not even chambers. Also, I just noticed that big platinum thing. So that is going to take me some time to craft up. I think we have some titanium. We have 29, not a whole lot, but uh, I have been processing all my rutile. I have like a whole thing of it over here. Just from letting the world run. There's some rutile there, borax, that. This stuff all needs to be processed. Uh, yeah. We are doing okay with pro uh, resources. We just need to get it all processed. I'll throw that in there. Yeah, all the redstone we need. All right, cool. So let me get some of this crafted up. And I think... Yeah, let me get this crafted up. We'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do the, the turbine first, just to get some more power going, more efficient. And uh, I think that will be a good start. Unfortunately, I completely forgot these turbine casings need magnalium, um, which isn't terrible. It just needs a lot of it. Um, so we need six per, and then we gotta do this in a alloy smelter. So aluminum and magnesium. Thankfully, we don't need 
any we don't need to like smelt the aluminum or anything so that is not terrible but smelting all this blue steel is uh gonna be an issue man that makes life just so much easier crafting up these circuits i definitely recommend doing that with the things just to help at least help with this stuff because keeping track of all this is a big old pain um so what i think i'm going to do is the turbine casings large steam turbine which this is this is all really easy to craft up it's just going to take um quite a bit to smelt up smelt up all the blue steel so i have gone ahead and yeah we got that so there's a large steam turbine uh i'm gonna go ahead and i think even just do the blue steel as the turbine it even says in here um post moon best hv rotors are damascus or blue steel i don't damascus is magical like a thomcraft and i think it still needs to be smelted doesn't it yeah so this is going to take the exact same amount of time whether i do damascus or the other one i'm just gonna leave that in there for now uh so i need i think i had yeah there's the last of it we need i think 59 it was or 50 56 because i already had some this doesn't matter but i'm just trying to figure out um i need 50 i can't remember <laughs> it is it's eight eight times six 48 yeah something like that uh 48 for the turbine that we're gonna do and then we need 258 no, am I short one? I may be short one. How have I... Oh, I guess we're getting achievements. Maybe they were added or something. Like, how are we getting achievements? We've crafted up blue steel before. I might need one more. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me get this all smelting. Uh, thankfully, we have a whole bunch of oxygen to make it faster, but it's still going to... Oh, it's overclocked. It's not as bad as I was thinking, of course. I looked at that and I was like, oh, 60 seconds each times 100 and something. I'm like, that's going to take an hour and a half, but it's still going to take a while. But we're overclocked at least. All right. So let me get that. Let me get the Magnalium. And uh, we'll be right back. And really quick, I just got back from the the world i was making a turbine blade uh, i can do this in a flute solidifier but uh i don't have one set up uh super easy to get to so i um i have a fluid extractor i don't have a, a fluid solidifier do i no i just have the i was like yeah i never craft up a fluid solidifier did i um but anyway, uh, this is 100% the best way to do this because there is no screws, there's no double steel plates, they're cheaper. Um, so 100% do that. And also, did I... Yeah. Just a few more of those. I need eight for what I am planning on doing. So there are only six turbines or six ingots and there is that. And then I'm going to do, you do uses on the turbine. You can uh, see the assembler recipe. There we go. So small, normal, large, huge. Now we can't do those. Can't get do tungsten steel either. Um, but I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and get titanium at this point. Uh, we can do that. I could even do... No, I can't do tungsten steel yet. Uh, so we just need a long titanium rod. And then that is, oops, just one. Man, I wish I wish we could do the, the cast. I know that 
wouldn't work because these are kind of like not gated but uh, a little bit gated uh i think is there a hammer recipe or do i have to throw that in a yeah all right cool a forge hammer and so assembly machine All right, cool. So there is that. We're still smelting up this. Um, I've actually started using this as a reminder <laughs> for how many. I need to grab my uh, the book. I left it, uh, the the clipboard. I left it over there, and I keep forgetting to grab it. Um, but I needed a hundred and six times six times twenty nine, so one hundred and seventy four magnesium. Uh, so we have, have we finished this? Yes, there is the last of that. Although I think, I don't think it came out even, ah, oh, well, whatever, we'll just <laughs> do that. And then I need to start making these, but I don't want to, eh, I'm going to do, I just don't want to make more rods than we actually need to, but it's two each. And I need 29 times two. I need 58 of these. Let me throw that really. So 58. And then I've done, how many did I just put in there? Sixty. I put eight in there. We need 50 more. All right. That's going to take me <laughs> quite a bit of time to... No, I'm short. No! I'm short like two ingots. No! All right. Uh, there is that. 29. Is that everything? I think that... No, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't complete that. Oh, dang. I may just do the cheapest one I could possibly find. Um, but I think we're just going to get this set up so it forms and then let's see where it is this is the, oh, over here. Ooh, we got some lag over here. It might be, it might be the pipes, the Greg type pipes. I'm going to have to check that out. Um, I have run into that before. Four. Let me, let me, yeah, my FPS has dropped way down. Oh, there it fixed. Might be something with all the, uh, the Greg Tech pipes over here. Um, eventually it's going to be flipped out for better pipes like the, uh, uh, Ender IO ones or something, but uh, be right back. Let me build this platform out a bit. All right, uh, I'm probably going to move this and move the water, but I need to kind of sort out how I want to get it placed. Um, the leg seems to have dropped, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to take a look at that just in case. With the uh, Greg Tech fluid pipe, sometimes. <laughs> they seem to act a bit funny. Now I realized as I was getting ready to build this turbine and I've built many of these turbines before uh, I am missing one pretty important part <laughs> but uh, we'll have to come back next episode and fix that because I do not have time to do that today but uh, yeah so that's like the main shell of the turbine the controller goes right in the front we're gonna do input Usually I do like output on or input on one side, output on the other. Again, it's going to depend on how we get this set up. I'm going to throw that extra turbine casing there and maybe like maintenance right here. All right. So I have pretty much everything. Totally forgot that I need a energy dynamo. So going to have to craft one of these up. Can't remember what the the thing is uh i can do hv dynamo uh but it's going to take me a second to 
get this all crafted up. This isn't as bad as other ones, but uh, yeah, it's not that terrible, but it's still gonna take me a second. Um, the other question would be, do we want the, the ones that output more amps? I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to decide on that one. Uh, but we definitely need a dynamo. I don't think we need anything bigger than just a regular dynamo, but uh, we'll come back next episode. Um, I'm going to sort this out. We'll get this set up and I need to, before I forget, throw the nichrome back in there to start smelting. We probably full. Yeah, our batteries are completely full. So just going to let this run. I might even let it run overnight and uh, we'll come back and we will have our, all our nichrome done. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, so thanks for watching, and why did that happen? <laughs> did I just lose one? What happened? Something happened, and I don't know what happened. Oh, I'm out of... I'm not out of... Hmm. I don't know why that turned off. I, we just looked and we saw full batteries. So, I don't know. I'll check that out and... Uh, yeah, I have no idea why that did that. Well, that was a bit of a... <laughs> a bad way to end the episode. But, oh well. We'll come back and, uh, yeah, we'll finish it. So, thanks for watching and have a good one.